Chateau Sudero is a premier cru classé in Sauternes, to the south of Bordeaux. The fact that it's a premier cru classé of Bordeaux means that it is one of the very great vineyard terroirs of the region, and thus one of the very great vineyards of the world. Chateau Sudero is principally a producer of vin licoreux, which we've been making here for a couple of centuries, and uh, these wines here are examples of the great vin licoreux of Chateau Sudero. But we also make dry white wines, and we make a blanc sec, and we make the S de Sudero, which is a, a, a wonderful uh, dry white wine made from the very oldest vines on the property. Chateau Sudero is pr principally planted out with the Semillon grape variety. And this is above all uh, one of the great terroirs of the world, if not the greatest terroir in the world, for the Semillon grape. And Chateau Sudero is planted out about 90% to Semillon. We also have about 10% of Sauvignon Blanc and uh, our, our wines are usually blends uh, with a majority of course of Semillon and a little bit of uh, Sauvignon and that is true for the Vin Lécoreux and for the dry white wines. What makes the Vin Lécoreux of uh, a great Sauterne like uh, Chateau Sudero special is the, uh, the mysterious and magical process by which the wine is made. Like anywhere else in the world, in order to get to harvest, we have to look after our grapes all the year round, make sure that we have a ripe crop of grapes. Yeah, normally at the beginning of September, the grapes are looking very ripe. And then when other people would just pick their grapes and make their wine, we have to wait. And what we're waiting for is the arrival in our vineyard of a mysterious and magical phenomenon over which we have no control whatever. And this is the arrival of this strange little uh, mushroom uh, which is called the Botrytis cinerea, which attacks the skins of the grapes when all the conditions are ripe. And uh, it uh, has the effect of concentrating everything that is beautiful and good in the grape. So that when we go through the vineyard after the arrival of Botrytis, sometimes we have to go through three, four, even five times during one harvest, picking out individual grapes that have been attacked. Uh, we pick them and uh, these grapes don't look very beautiful because they've got a, a, a sort of uh, fungus growing on them. But when we crush this rather unpromising looking grape, what we get is this magical golden wine, one of the great wines of the world. Of course, a, a great sauterne is sweet because it's been concentrated, but actually the sweetness is not the main point of these wines. What really matters about these wines is how wonderfully complex and beautiful the aromatic and taste structures of the wines are. And this is partly, of course, because of the great vineyard terroir where we are. It's partly because of all the work that everybody here does looking after the grapes and making the wine. But it's also, very importantly, because of the transformative power of this magical phenomenon, the Botrytis cinerea, which arrives in the vineyard in September or October and uh, transforms the wine and turns it into something absolutely magical. One of the very great wines of the world.